Hey, what's going on everyone? Misha Wilson here and welcome to today's episode of the Misha Wilson Show. Now in today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about a mindset shift that you absolutely need to make in your business. If you firstly wanna get your business off the ground and then profitable, but then secondly and most importantly, actually build a business that gives you long-term sustainability within the marketplace that provides value, that not only creates an income, but also creates an income that sticks around and lasts the test of time. With that said, as always, if you get value, don't forget to let me know in the comments section below what your biggest takeaway was from this episode. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon notification button so that you're notified when I do more videos just like this. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Welcome to the Misha Wilson Show, where we show you how to create massive success online so you can enjoy the lifestyle of your wildest dreams. All right, so you know, in today's video, a little bit different. I don't necessarily wanna talk about how-to content quite as much, but I wanna talk about a mindset that people struggle with, struggle with adopting, and something you absolutely have to adopt if you're going to create success and especially if you're going to keep success within your online business. So one of the things you see so much in our world, the internet marketing world, the make money online world, is the simple fact that when people get started and involved with the world for the first time, the internet marketing world, they're in a state of needing money. They're in a state of pain financially. They're in a state of needing to create revenue, needing to you know, make fast sales, needing to you know, make money as quickly as humanly possible to pay the next bill, needing to you know, get out of a state of pain financially and into profit as quickly as humanly possible. And the truth of the matter is, unfortunately, most people will never come to the marketplace before they get to that place because that pain, being in that place, in that state of pain, is what drives them to get involved in the marketplace to begin with. And so based on that fact, based on that fact that they're in that state of pain and based on that fact that, you know, I'm the exact same way when I first got started, I was dealing with all the stress, the anxiety, the fear, the overwhelm, the you know, uncertainty of God, am I gonna have enough money to just pay my bills next month? Because they're in that state, what people tend to focus on constantly is just transactions, transactions, transactions. How do I make the next sale? How do I get the next transaction? How do I generate the next customer? How do I get you know, the next person to buy the next thing? Doesn't necessarily matter about the product, doesn't necessarily matter about the value, doesn't necessarily matter about you know, everything else other than how the hell can I get that next sale? And the problem with this is firstly, if you're coming from that place, it's extremely hard to ever even get your business profitable. Because when you're coming from that place, you're coming from a place of extreme scarcity and scarcity does not breed success, all right? If you wanna create success in your life, you absolutely need to come from a place of abundance. You need to be able to invest in different coaching programs. You need to learn skill sets. You need to be able to, you know, take risks when it comes to investing financially in advertising, investing financially in your business, investing financially in tools, investing financially in all of these different things that allow you to create success in your business. And if you're constantly coming from a place of, God, I'm not gonna have enough money at the end of the month. God, I'm not gonna have enough money to pay the bills. God, I'm not gonna have enough money to you know, do X, Y, Z. You will never get yourself to invest in the tools and the courses and the coaching and the mentorship necessary to go ahead and create success. So firstly, it's almost impossible to create success that way. And then secondly, if somehow you manage to create success without getting out of that space, it's going to be extremely difficult to keep it, all right? Because just like when it comes to, you know, when you're brand new and you need to invest in mentorship, when you need to constantly improve, when you need to invest in tools and so on and so forth to get profitable, in order to keep success, well, guess what? You have to do literally the exact same thing. You constantly need to be seeking out the next mentor that can help you get to the next level. You constantly need to be investing in your business and treating your business like it's you know something, a plant that needs to be fed and nourished every single day 
in order to stay alive. There's this mindset that, God, I'm gonna get to $10,000 per month, and then I'm just gonna kick back on the beach and smoke a joint and relax and not do anything. And the truth of the matter is, that's not how it works, right? You need to get your business up and profitable, and then you need to continue to invest in your business and treat your business as a business so that it stays in business long-term. And when you're coming from a place of scarcity, when you're coming from that place of not operating from a place of abundance, it is extremely difficult to do that. And so with that said, constantly be, being in that state of seeking the next transaction, getting the next customer, getting the next like, getting the next, you know, just transaction at a core level is extremely detrimental to firstly creating success and then secondly, keeping success. And the shift that I want you, you know, to kind of embrace and I want you, I want to kind of invite you to embrace in today's video is the shift of constantly being in a space of seeking more and more and more and more transactions to more coming from a place of looking for, identifying, and then solving problems in the marketplace. All right, if you can get in the habit of just consistently looking for problems that the marketplace is dealing with, figuring out cool, resourceful ways that you can solve those problems, and then be the person that actually solves those, solves those problems for the marketplace, you know, to begin with, that's the only way that you're going to build a business and get a, build, get a business to a point of profitable to begin with. And then secondly, if you can consistently do that in your business over and over and over again, literally, you will have all the transactions, you will make all the sales, you, have all, you will have all the customers, excuse me, that you would ever need because you're constantly solving those problems, you're constantly the person solving those problems, and naturally as a byproduct, when you're the person solving people's problems, you naturally have the equation working in your favor to have people seek you out and give you money and once again, kind of have those transactions that you're so desperate for right now just kind of come to fruition, right? No, I'm not talking about manifesting it. I'm not talking about thinking about the transactions and the transactions will come. I'm not talking about, you know, studying the secret where you think about it for an hour a night and then the next day the transactions are there. I'm talking about actively looking at the market, finding problems in the market that people are dealing with, and then becoming the person who solves that problem for the marketplace and naturally when you do that the law of reciprocity kicks in and all of your stress around god i need the next transaction the next customer the next sale etc kind of just goes away because there's always that next customer there's always that next transaction there's always that next sale because you're the person who's providing the value you're the person who's solving the problem and you're the person who's you know, essentially giving the value to the other person, which at the end of the day, that's all a business is. A business is there's one person over here in a state of pain that has a problem, and there's a business over here that helps to solve that pain and alleviate that problem. And when you can once again become the person who instead of focusing on transactions, 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 focuses on problem solving, problem solving, problem solving, you naturally put yourself into the right spot in the equation in order to attract success that you want to attract in your business and in your life. So please take this to heart. Don't look at this as, you know, the law of attraction where you're just going to think about it. Don't look at this as, you know, you're just going to manifest transactions based on, you know, just kind of thinking about it and not doing the work actively do the work, seek out the problems, find the problems, listen to the marketplace, find people in the marketplace that need help and actively solve problems for those people. And I can virtually guarantee the transactions will come after you do that simple thing. So with that said, if you got value out of today's video, as always, please let me know in the comments section below what your biggest takeaway was. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon notification button so that you're notified when I do more videos just like this. Till next time, over and out.